Gary McFarlane. I am a sex and love addiction specialist working with clients based all over the world, particularly online using webcams such as Skype and VC and Zoom. I want to give you a little insight into the neuroscience knowledge that we have about sex addiction. It has become a lot more problematic to manage people's lives, particularly since the advent of the internet. Pornography viewing has increased exponentially and is a significant problem that is out of control in many people's lives. Women, men, children are affected and it's being used as a coping strategy to manage emotions. It's really useful to think about the brain as having created a coping strategy to help get you through life's difficult stuff. The brain chooses the addiction to manage your emotions, not you. Recognize that the brain does not like pain, stress or anxiety and will find strategies to help you cope with life's difficulties. Let me give you a definition of sex, porn, love addiction. It's a pattern of behaviours which preoccupy your thoughts and are out of control. You cannot stay stuck for a sustainable period or consistently and it has harmful consequences and the behaviours serve a function in your life and it is used primarily to anaesthetise some negative feeling state. The most important part of the criterion which makes it an addiction rather than a love of sex is that it serves a function. If you fulfill that definition, each facet of that definition, you likely have sex, porn, maybe love addiction patterns of behaviour. And they are behaviours that may not just resolve on their own but may need some help from a therapist who can help you better understand how they got set up typically in childhood and really importantly the role, the function, the purpose that they are serving in your life. Let's look at what a compulsion is as distinct from an addiction. They are different. A compulsion is a behaviour aimed at bringing you back to a baseline feeling state to make you feel good again. I often use a spirit level to help clients better understand the distinction. A spirit level is used to make sense of what is going on. If you think about it like a seesaw, when one part of our functioning is out of synchronization, out of kilt, then we reach out, we snatch off a form of behavior aimed at bringing us back into right functioning to feel better again. And so a compulsive behaviour is snatching off a form of behaviour to bring us back into what we call a baseline feeling state. For example, if you have a migraine or headache, you may reach out for paracetamol or ibuprofen. And they are aimed at bringing you back into that baseline right feeling state. A baseline feeling state where you feel back in a better frame of mind. An addiction, however, is a behaviour that not only brings you back into that baseline feeling state, but it wants to project you beyond the baseline feeling state. It wants to project you up to a higher level of more intense excitement. And when you apply that to sex addiction, the thing reached for, that intense behaviour, the sexual pleasure and excitement is going to project you to that higher state. It is a state of feeling intense erotic pleasure. And so someone with sex, porn, love addiction is no longer just doing a compulsive behaviour to move them from feeling out of sorts and just bringing them back to a baseline, back into homeostasis. What they experience with the addiction is that higher state of intensity which the brain gets used to and wants to keep repeating and getting the pleasures from that greater intensity. 
So the individual keeps repeating the more intense, repetitive behaviours and they don't just stop with the lesser intensity. And with repeat comes habit. Habit that takes hold is what we actually call a neural pathway. The brain learns how to do the repeated patterns of behaviours. Negative feeling states are paired up with negative sexual behaviours. And it's that pairing up of feeling with behaviour, which the brain gets used to doing, that creates the neural pathway. When a neural pathway is established because of repetitive behaviours, decision isn't really needed. The brain just knows what to do. The brain automatically turns to the coping strategy, which has now been used repeatedly as the behavior of choice, the go-to behavior to help manage your feeling state, your emotions. The intensity is what the brain becomes addicted to. And with that intensity, the metabolism of the body has been secreting some very potent neurochemicals, also called biochemicals, such very potent chemicals like oxytocin, adrenaline, dopamine, serotonin and other such biochemicals and they are all secreted into the pleasure part of the brain called the limbic system. They are mood altering pleasurable biochemicals and they are as potent as illegal drugs. Each time you experience a negative feeling state and the purpose is to self-soothe it's escape from reality you enter a false intimacy world reality is left behind and there's a strong desire to stay in the bubble don't let the bubble burst don't come back into reality because a false intimacy place is escape from life's emotional difficulties the high point for most people is the chase more than the end point, the orgasm or the ejaculation. It is during the chase when the potent biochemicals are being secreted into the limbic part of the brain that gives the high, the euphoria. It's the chase to find the ultimate image on the next page for those with porn addiction rather than the orgasm. Whether it's a compulsion or an addiction doesn't really matter. They are both negative patterns of self-soothing behaviours and they're both aimed at inappropriate mood altering and they have negative impacts. They don't actually work. They are behaviours which need help to effect change in your life or for you to stop them. And that help really needs to come from a skilled individual. There are a number of skilled individuals in the Kairos Center and we are here to help you with some tried and tested tools. Typically the behaviors are set up in childhood and the Kairos recovery plan is all about finding the real authentic you and on the way help you to recover from sex, porn, love addiction, bring about cessation, sobriety, and recovery in your life. Contact us, we're here to help. I'm Gary McFarlane, the founder of the Kairos Center. You've just listened to a whiteboard animation that I created quite a number of years ago, trying to assist you in diagnosing, do you have sex, porn, love addiction? Much more focused on sex and porn addiction and just helping you with some rudimentary insights into some of the hallmark traits to help you identify whether you might have those traits in your life. Whether you have sex, porn, love addiction or compulsive patterns of behavior as a woman, as a man, as a partner of someone with sex, porn, love addiction behaviors, my webinar program is likely to be of much help to you. 
I have created what may be the world's first sex porn love addiction online video on demand comprehensive webinar recovery program. This recovery program is unlike any other recovery program that you can find in the marketplace. This one is all about finding the real authentic you that got hijacked in your childhood development. And on the way to finding the real authentic you, you may actually grow to like the true you. You'll also acquire some lifelong tools to assist you in maintaining your sobriety. All about helping you begin the process of bringing color back to your life without shame. So go ahead, go back to the Kairos Center website, www.kairos, K-A-I-R-O-S, hyphen center, dot com, and take a look at the free 30 minutes webinar introduction that you can watch to gain even more information about the recovery program. But ultimately, I hope that you'll find enough on the website and in the free 30 minute webinar introductory program that will convince you that the Kairos Center has a lot to offer you in its recovery program. And you'll take some time to subscribe, to purchase and begin your journey of recovery. It's time to reclaim your life.